Hey, greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's another exciting day here. We have another new package and no doubt, unless I got an early Christmas present, we have... Wow, now this is different. Most of the time everything's in a big square manly box. This is something long and skinny. Huh. Huh. Could it be? Could it possibly be that for the first time ever, we get to review a watch that's, well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. But I'm thinking, especially since I look at my demographics when I do my analytics for this channel and find that only 8% of you out there are of the feminine gender, at least as you've declared on uh, <clears throat> on your Google preferences. Yes, Google isn't the only one that collects data. They share it with us. If that's right, ah, uh, hey, the 8% of you watching may really be interested. Wow, in this? Wow. Ladies, smartwatch. We really haven't done one of these before, and it's long, long overdue. All those big, chunky, rectangular things and all those oversized, round things. Now we're talking, aren't we? Huh. There's a watch. Let's see what else is in the box. I don't think you're going to catch me wearing this. Well, I'll, I'll show it on my arm just out of, uh, so you get a feel for the size, but I'm not going to dinner with it. Um, here's a charging cable. Wow, it's a different one altogether, too. Hmm. Hmm. Look at that. We have some new technology here. You know, they're starting to look all the same. And, wow, this is different. It's got a cover, actually, for the heart rate monitor. We presume that's what that is. It looks like it should be. Wow. Speaker, you think? A little, a little twirly knob here, which may be just a button. Nice design. A microphone over there in a rose gold woman's watch. Whoa. Tiny, uh, is it a screwdriver? It's something to push a SIM card? I'm not sure. Look at that. Okay. I love it when I get into new territory and I got stuff I don't even know what it is. I am not going to stick this in the microphone hole, and neither are you, okay? You saw that here. Maybe this is for changing the bands. I don't know. Is it a screwdriver? No. <laughs> you got me. That's why I love to do these unboxings. I can't come across like I really know what the heck I'm talking about when I really don't. Uh, maybe the manual would help. There's a manual in Chinese and in English. Which way does it start? It starts over here. Okay. Okay. We always do this in the unboxing. We take a look at the manual, and I'm going to give it to you like that, and you can zoom in on it, see what it has to say if you're interested in this box uh, or this watch. I, I know it would be a lot nicer to give it to you in a PDF document, but you know what? Nah, this is my style, so <laughs> have fun. Take a look at it. It does look like it's got all the standard stuff of a tethering watch. Um which means this maybe can tether nicely to your phone and give you the things you need in a women's fashion watch. Nice. So what are we looking at here? Well, that's another new thing too. This actually comes from a fashion company, a new, a new uh, partner with us here called Banggood. Banggood. And it's the Limfo L-E-M-2, okay? Uh, and they're giving us a shot. They, they sent this over because they want to expand their market presence and establish their name and introduce uh, women's versions of smartwatches, banggood.com. We will definitely have a link to this page in the uh, show notes, so check it out. 
And I don't know if it's got enough of a charge on it to turn it on, but if it does, let's peel off the uh, screen protector or cover. It's not really a protector, I don't think. Oh, that's tight. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's like a diamond cut glass. Can you see that? It may have another plastic layer on it. It's possible. I'm not going to take that. Oh, it is more than possible. I see a little bubbling right there. So um, it's got another level on it that's a, a, a screen protector, but we won't take that off yet. Um, what is it? Well, it is all of this. A 1.22 inch Got pedometer Bluetooth 4 women's smartwatch. As we try to boot it up, you can take a look at the specs. Well, I think I'm going to have to charge it. So I'll be back after we charge it. But you can still look at the specs. Here you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see this. Are you ready? Boom. Let's boot this puppy up. Brand new, cute, ladies watch. And look how fast it booted up. Amazing, huh? By the way, I read the manual to find out what this is all about. You know, the links are like big. And it's a, anyway, to, uh, to take out some of the links, if necessary, this little tool was included to remove the links to make it fit. So what does it look like on? <clears throat> well... <laughs> okay, there you go. I got a relatively big guy's arm, but nonetheless, uh, that's that's it. Nice. It really is. It's attractive. It's small. I think it will really work. I think Mrs. Tix is going to be really happy with this one. Let's take a look at the watch faces first, shall we? Uh, we go here. We can go through all of them, and they loop. Okay, so we just saw that one. Let's go to the right. There's a watch face that comes with it. Okay, I'm going to try to focus and keep it there, because I know sometimes it just gets funky on us. Here's another one. It's a little bright, isn't it? All right, I'm going to come back to that. Let's go over here to our settings. And lower the brightness slightly. Settings. Display. Oops. Display. Brightness. Three, two, one. It's nice that it's a really bright watch. Uh, even right here, and it's relatively dim because I've been shooting videos all day and it's almost evening. But it's, um, can I do this? Yeah, I can. Oh, cool. All right, that's at setting one, and it's still blowing out the camera just a little bit. But there you go. Another watch face. Here's another one. Can you see yourself wearing this? All 8% of you, huh? Huh? Come on, ladies, get a couple of more of your friends to watch this channel. I'll give you a, a teaser. I have more ladies' watches coming in as well. I kind of went on a tangent when I saw this one and asked a few of the suppliers to dig deep, and uh, you're going to see more than just this one. So uh, grab your lady friends and subscribe, okay? <laughs> Or guys, hey, Christmas is coming up in a, a few months, right? I know you could be watching this at any time, but it is August right now. So uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, so that's the watch faces. And what happens as we scroll? We can go to the left and we get to our apps. We go down, we come back to the clock. We go down, we get to the apps. We go up. And they go all over the place. And you go to the right, and you get to the apps. So it's an easy watch to operate. You're going to have two things. One is the watch face. If you go up or down, I presume. And the other is you're going to go into the apps. Not complicated. Not hard to learn. Now, they loop, and they go all the way around. So I'm going to start at settings, because I want to show you a couple of other things here. Settings. And I'm going to go into that whole display area. And I'm going to show you the style. We have a 
four app style. Oh, okay. We only have one style. Usually there's one box at a time or they're round or whatever, but we have one style. Okay. Well, since we're at settings, let's run through all of those. You have Bluetooth settings. This is a tethering watch. That means you'll be able to connect it to your phone and tether it. And uh, you can turn the power on for Bluetooth and then you can uh, make it visible and you can do all of that tethering stuff, which we'll do a, a little bit later on. Oh, visibility's on. Okay. There, we go back that way. Uh, clock is where you can uh, set the clock type, which we did by pressing and holding. You can turn on sync when you have it connected Bluetooth to your phone, and it will sync the time. Otherwise, you put in the date and time and your time format right there. Sound. Um, alert type is ring only, but you can have it ring only, vibrate only, vibrate and then ring, which is really handy so that if it uh, vibrates on you and you quickly uh, deal with it, it doesn't have to ring. So you can know something came in without actually being interrupted. That's vibrate then ring. The vibrate and ring, it'll do both of those, okay? Uh, ring tones, we have a few of them. Here's the first one. Ring 2. It's got a good bass sound to it. Speakers right there, relatively large. Ring 3. Ring 4. Ring 5. We'll leave that one. Notification tones we have. Oh, that sounds so familiar. Single beep. Two of them. Three of them. All right. It's repeating beeps. <laughs> tone three. These are common tones. Tone four is kind of a chime sound. And tone five. That's like the bicycle bell. Barely audible. We'll go with tone three. Okay, so that's it for sounds. Volume, six, six, and six. So those volumes are all the way up. Six is maximum. And it's pretty decent. I could hear it okay. There's worse, there's better. Uh, for a tiny little watch like this, it's pretty decent. We did do the whole display, checking the styles. The brightness is all the way down to one. And screen timeout, you can go from as low as five seconds on all the way up to 60. I have 60 now, so it won't time out on us. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Motion. Flip to mute an incoming call. Flip up to mute. What was that? To mute the alarm. The wake-up gesture which if we turn on is going to be when you twist your arm, it will uh, light up, right? And show you the time. International, auto sync and languages, name display, last name first. It doesn't look like, like auto sync is on. I'm going to turn it off. Now we can show you the languages. So we have English, French, Spanish, and then it goes on to all these other ones. Are you getting a focus on that? It's still really bright, isn't it? Okay. Good selection. Not a huge number, but quite a few. We're still in English and the name display. So that's our international apps. When you download the app, that links to here, and I'm pretty sure it's fun to wear for this one, you have the option of downloading apps directly to the watch. When you go into here, you can deal with them or uninstall them if you want to. You can also uninstall them from the app itse uh, itself on the phone. Reset lets you reset everything if you want to. And about this watch, this tells you all the details you need to know if you're monitoring this. Okay version numbers, release time, April 8th, 2016. So relatively new, not last year or anything. All right, that's settings. 
So we have a stopwatch, which you can count and you can do laps. Okay, and you can stop. We have a calculator in this tiny little, look at this thing, tiny little thing. And see, it went out when I turned it around. You have actually a calculator that's fairly easy to use. And good readable numbers. I like this. This is awesome. You have... This is a heart rate repeat. So later you're going to see doing the heart rate. This one is the one that's going to allow you to keep it going, I believe. There's the hot laser diode. I'm going to put my finger over it. See if I get a reading. With the drop-down menu up here, you probably are able there to see your history. It's showing a uh, pattern of a heartbeat. But I got news for you. That's not really the track of a heartbeat. That's just a graphic going across the screen. But the nice thing about this is it's giving a continuous reading. And it's honing in on the actual uh, pulse rate. So... The more you let it be, the, the closer it's going to get. And if you have this on your arm and you're working out and you've just finished your workout and you're trying to calculate your recovery rate, for example, this might be a good way to do it because it's continuous. That's the heart rate monitor. All right. We also have a phone book, a dialer, call logs, and messaging. And this will work like all tethered watches where you have the information that's from your phone transferred over here, all of your contacts, all of that stuff. Um, this is a remote notifier, and you have to be connected in order to do that. Um, find my device. Again, if you're connected, it'll, it'll beep your phone. They'll let you know where it is. Here's your alarms that you can set all the different... Uh, Alarm times that you want, time, repeat, and the alarm tone that you can choose. So you can have different tones for each of the alarms. A calendar, which gives you the day of the week currently. If you just want to check the day, where you go, you tap that. You go into a more elaborate calendar. Which which way do you go? Yeah, there it's changing. Okay, and it, it stays flagged on today. If you touch another number, anything happen? Nah. It's just showing you the calendar. It's not really a robust thing where you can enter data or anything. Then the next page, you have Bluetooth music. So you can play music from Bluetooth. A remote camera where you can trigger the camera on your phone to take a picture. The Bluetooth connection, which is where we uh, connect the two together, right? And F, what is that? File manager. All right. Yeah, the file manager. So if you have recordings or sound or something like that, this shows you everything. And um, you have very little space. What, a half a megabyte, 500 kilobytes? So not a lot of space on this watch, but it's not meant to be the do-all kind of a watch, you know? Did I scoot ahead too much? Okay, there's the file manager. Then we have the active pedometer. And you can start. And it'll start tracking your steps, I presume. You have options, of course, to set your history, your goal, your height, and your weight so that you can get all of that information. A lot of this is basic, so I'm moving really fast, folks, okay? Start for your sleep monitor. You can wear this while you're sleeping. In the morning, you hit stop, and it'll tell you what quality of your sleep was and you've got a history right there that you can check so you can even wear it to bed if you want to and i want to turn that off right now um sedentary reminder is like a repeat timer that you can set so it'll beep every so often uh to let you get up and stretch for example if you've been sedentary too long here's the basic heart rate monitor which if we say start and we hold on to it, should beep and give us a heart rate reading, but it's just going to give us one, as opposed to the other one, which is going to give us a bunch and continuous. Okay, there, see, and it's not changing, and it's done. And that's now recorded in my history file on this date and time. Heart rate monitor, Siri, when you tap that, and you connect with your iPhone or your Android phone. You can interrogate Siri, ask whatever you want, 
She'll go off and get it, or Google Voice will, and it'll return and speak out of the watch what you ask for. Awesome. Just keep your phone nearby, do the Siri thing, and you can really use that. There's a basic sound recorder. This is a basic sound recorder on the LEM2 from Limfo, which we're testing out. It has pause, it has stop. We save it and we play it. This is a basic sound recorder on the LEM2 from Limfo, which we're testing out. That's really good. That's nice quality. A lot of them, you can barely hear it. I'm very impressed with that. That is nice. So you could take a quick voice note while you're driving and uh, pick up something at the store and just listen to your notes. Um, what the heck is this one? Main UI and Main UI 1 and 2. So we've got the Main UI going on right now. That's the user interface. Let's see what number 2 is. Oh, it changes the quality and character of the icons, makes them colorful, as opposed to integrated with the rose gold, like that. There's the barcode that you can scan, and if you want to get a reading off of that, if you can take a picture of your YouTube screen with your camera on your phone, you should be able to get the link that'll take you to the app that you can download and check it out. That's what you'll need to run this thing. And we're back to stopwatch calculator settings and the continuous heart rate monitor. So those are all of the installed apps that come with this. You notice at the top, in pure Android, we have the battery level indicator, and we have what looks like the time on there, 10.30 a.m., and some little goodies over here that are showing you the condition of the watch. So, uh, wow, uh, I really like this one. It's nice. Now, notice that twist and turn thing is kind of gravity-fed and not uh, vibrational-fed. So if you have that on and you have it back in the watch mode, whenever you turn it up, it's going to go on. And it's going to stay on for as long as you have set the watch parameters to uh, be on. So if you want to really conserve battery, just to show you quickly, you can go in here to display. You can hone that thing down for a screen timeout of five seconds. And get out of here. Get back to your watch. Now when you turn it over and you turn it back, if you happen to have it upright, it'll stay on for as long as that duration is. And if it's set to five seconds, after five seconds, it should automatically turn off. And that'll save your battery power if you're driving and your wrist happens to be up most of the time. Okay, we are looking at the Lympho LEM2 with all of these good things and features. And all the, there's all the languages it does. Uh, we have a 200 milliamp hour battery in here. Of course, it's a rather small watch, but it's a small screen too, 240 by 240 and 1.22 inches. It's a ladies watch and um, good Bluetooth range. Metallic silver is available and rose gold. And here's all of our uh, sizes and stuff. So once again, a shout out to Bang Good, Bang Good for providing this lady's smartwatch to us. I will have links in the show notes so that you can purchase this. We might have a buying coupon. Never know. Check there and see. Anyway, if you do buy uh, from Banggood, uh, please use the link in the show notes. That helps us, helps them, and it helps us get more watches like this so we can keep going with this channel to show you new things. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the ladies' watch.